I shall put the draft resolution to the vote now. Will those in favor of the draft resolution contained in document S-2024-254 please their, raise their hand? Those against? Abstention. The result of the voting is as follows. 14 votes in favor, zero vote against, one abstention. The draft resolution has been adopted as resolution 27-28-2024. I now give the floor to those members of the Council who wish to make statements after the vote. I give the floor to the representative of Algeria. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to thank all the council members for their flexibility and the constructive way that allowed us today to adopt this long-awaited resolution. A resolution that calls for an immediate ceasefire in the Gaza Strip in order to put an end to the massacres that unfortunately are still ongoing over the past five years, five months. Over the past five months, the Palestinian people has suffered greatly. This bloodbath has continued for far too long. It is our obligation to put an end to this bloodbath before it is too late. Finally, Finally, the Security Council is shouldering its responsibility as the primary organ responsible for maintaining international peace and security. It is finally responding to the calls of the international community. These repeated calls, not only from the international community, but also from the Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres. And once again, we renew our support to the Secretary General for his noble position and for his support to this just cause. despite the heinous campaigns that were launched against him. Mr. President, when we voted on the draft resolution tabled by Algeria last month, we promised that we will spare no effort. We will continue to work hard to make sure that the Security Council is abiding by its full responsibility. 
we also promised that we will come back once again to knock on the doors of the Security Council. And here we are today alongside all 10 elected member states to convey a clear message to the Palestinian people. This message is as follows. The international community in its entirety did not abandon you, feels your suffering. It did not abandon you. Mr. President, adopting today's resolution is only the beginning to meet the aspirations of the Palestinian people. We look forward to the commitment and the compliance of the Israeli occupying power with this resolution for them to put an end to the bloodbath without any conditions to end the suffering of the Palestinian people. It is the responsibility of the Security Council to ensure the implementation of the provisions of this resolution. In conclusion, Mr. President, I reaffirm that Algeria will return once again before the Security Council under the instructions of His Excellency, the President of the Republic, to make sure that Palestine returns to its natural status as a full-fledged member, a sovereign member state of the United Nations. I thank you. I give the floor to the representative of China. I thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, China voted in favor of the draft resolution that has just been put to the vote. We thank Algeria, Mozambique, and other elected council members for their efforts. Last Friday, the Security Council voted on the other draft resolution proposed by the United States on the situation in Gaza. China, together with Algeria and Russia, voted against it. A comparison of the two drafts shows the differences. The current draft is unequivocal and correct in its direction, demanding an immediate ceasefire, while the previous one has been evasive and ambiguous. The current draft demands an unconditional ceasefire, while the previous one has set preconditions for ceasefire. The current draft reflects the general expectations of the international community and enjoys the collective support of the Arab states, while the previous one has been jointly rejected by the Arab states. The differences between the two drafts boil down to nothing but whether there should be an immediate and unconditional ceasefire and whether the collective punishment of the people of Gaza should be allowed to continue. On this issue, China, like most members of the international community, has been very clear from the very outset. Whether we voted against it last Friday or in favor of it today. Our vote was based 
on our consistent position and propositions. After repeated vetoes of the Council actions, the United States finally decided to stop obstructing the Council's demand for an immediate ceasefire. Despite all this, the U.S. still tried to find all kinds of excuses and made accusations against China. The, the eyes of the international community and are open and discerning. The acquisitions of the U.S. are untenable. On the contrary, it's because of China and other countries concerned, uh, because of our upholding of principles and justice, then the U.S. we force the U.S. to realize that it cannot continue to obstruct the efforts of the Council to move in the right direction and take the uh, a decisive step. And uh, um, justice will prevail in the end. Mr. President, nearly six months after the outbreak of the Gaza conflict, over 32,000 innocent civilian, civilians have lost their lives. For the lives that have already perished, the Council resolution today comes too late. But for the millions of people in Gaza who remain mired in an unprecedented humanitarian catastrophe, this resolution, if fully and effectively implemented, could still bring long-awaited hope. Security Council resolutions are binding. We call on the parties concerned to fulfill their obligations under the United Nations Charter and to take due action as required by the resolution. We expect the state with significant influence to play a positive role on the party concerned, including by using all necessary and effective means at their disposal to support the implementation of the resolution. To this end, all harm to civilians must cease immediately, and the offensive against Gaza must be prevented at once. A ceasefire during the month of Ramadan is only the first step that must serve as a basis leading to a lasting, sustainable ceasefire and the early return of the people of Gaza who are forced to flee their homes. At the same time, the blockade of Gaza and the man-made barriers to access of humanitarian supplies must be lifted immediately to ensure that humanitarian supplies enter Gaza in sufficient quantities expeditiously to reach people in need in a safe and uh, timely manner. We appreciate SG Guterres and the humanitarian agencies for their efforts. Israel must fully cooperate to open uh, the cross, uh, Rafa and other land uh, crossings, UNRWA is indispensable and irreplaceable for the people of Gaza to receive international humanitarian assistance. We urge all parties to fully restore funding to UNRWA as soon as possible. We categorically reject Israel's recent vicious campaign of attacks against UNRWA and the United Nations system as a whole. We welcome the efforts of Egypt, Qatar, and the United States to promote the release of the hostages and expect the speedy release of all hostages and detainees and their early return home. Mr. President, the Security Council based on the adopted resolution today, continue to follow closely the situation in Gaza and get ready for further actions when necessary and ensure the timely and full implementation of its resolutions. China will continue to make unremitting efforts together with all parties to bring an early end to the fighting in Gaza, alleviate the humanitarian catastrophe, and implement the two-state solution. I thank you, Mr. President.